Hi everyone, I'm Nikki, and in this video, I'm going to be answering some questions about my experiences at the University of Sheffield, which I hope will be helpful to you. So a bit about myself, I'm an international student from Singapore, and I completed a bachelor's in computer science. I'm currently doing master's in data science at the information school. So firstly, I went to the information school's webpage to view the modules that they offered. I was interested in business intelligence and big data analytics because they sounded quite unique and appealed to me the most. I also attended an online open day to know more about my course and watched some YouTube videos made by current students just to know what it's like living in Sheffield. And I think I also asked a couple of questions on the university's Instagram platform page. Um, it was pretty informative because they answer questions by prospective students. So I was deciding between two universities, um, but I read that the Sheffield Student Union has consistently ranked number one in the UK for four years of running. So that was a decisive factor for me because it's a testament to how serious they take students' concerns, um, especially with the pandemic. Um, the student union has constantly updated us on their progress. They have managed to get a three million COVID fund, um, refunds on unused student accommodation, organized like give it a go activities. Um, yeah, it just shows that they actively try to make your student life better. I felt really supported by the university. Since I wanted to pursue competitive sports at Bucks, Sport Sheffield awarded me a participation grant which really helped in taking my mind off the financial burden while balancing academic and sports. So I think overall everything combined just helped inform my decision to choose the University of Sheffield ultimately. My highlights are my grades I guess. Um, well with the lockdown there was not much distraction so I could really focus on my studies. And before coming, I was aware that it was a blended learning, so a mix of online lectures and face-to-face -face was expected. I think online lectures have been more engaging since people are not afraid to ask questions. And I did manage to attend practical sessions at The Diamond and Regent Court. And it was a really different experience, obviously, because we had to sit far apart from each other, wear face masks, sanitize frequently. But I still think we received a high quality education. Yes, so I've attended webinars such as international students working in the UK or like maximizing my chances of how to get a graduate job in the UK and I think I did a few company meets as well so we learn more about company through representative. I know there's like a bunch of resources from the career service such as like um, touching up your CVs, cover letters, helping you prepare for application assessments, interviews and also just like workshops to brush up on your skills such as like literature review or academic writing. And I've also participated in like the e-mentoring scheme. So I was assigned like a graduate mentor to have one-to-one -one conversations about how to make career decisions. And it was really helpful to hear from someone who was in a similar position a few years ago. Okay, so that's the end of the questions. I hope you found this video useful. Okay, bye bye.